taking a road trip to Lights of the Delta. And let me tell you, this place can really get you into the Christmas spirit. It is a drive through lights display on the Blyville Air Force Base. There are so many scenes to see, and I can't wait to check them all out. I'm out here with Charles now, and I can't believe just how many lights are out here. What are we looking at? Well, we estimate about six million lights, and I've actually tried to count them. <laughs> it gets hard. You, you, you lose your count. But yeah. anyway, it's, it's a bunch of lights, six million. It's probably more than that now. We were estimating six million like 10 years ago. Oh. So uh, it's, it's a lot to work on, a lot to keep up, and we start putting them up around August. So uh, that tells you how many lights there are. A lot of metal, a lot of electricity going around so it's a, it's a fun job out here and I love doing it. So I know y'all are always trying to improve and make it bigger bigger and better. What's new this year? Well we have two new displays. We we add some every year. The, uh, there's no place like home right over yeah. there. That's a great one that we just bought and uh, and then I made one back over it's called the bridge. Uh, we hadn't really got it, gave it a good name yet, <laughs> but it's everybody calls it the bridge, and it's about 125, 130 feet long drive-through uh, display, mm -hmm. and it and it uh, has a sequencer on it, and it's really a cool thing to drive through. We love doing that, and uh, and and we got some more new ones that are smaller, mm -hmm. but you know those are our signature ones this year. That's awesome, and obviously, like you said, you've been working here for you know almost 20 years. Do you have a favorite display? Well, it's like asking if who's your favorite grandkid? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think the new one that I built over there, the bridge is my favorite one right now because it's really, people are talking about it and, and uh, when I made it, uh, I, I just love just sitting there in it and uh, it was great, great display. That's such a labor of love to physically, I mean, build the structures that the lights Yeah, are. yeah. I love doing it. I've been doing it for a while and I'll be out at two or three in the morning just sitting out here by myself <laughs> working on these displays. I, I really love it. It's a great job. Great job. It is year-round, too. It takes, like I was telling you earlier, we start in around August, and, uh, and then we start tearing down. It takes about three months to get it down, and then we work on it during the summer, mm -hmm. uh, getting the things back up to shape. Perfect. So when all can people come drive through the, the display? Well, we're open from 5.30 till 9 on weekdays, mm -hmm. 5.30 till 10 on Friday and Saturday nights. Perfect, and everyone still has time to come out. Y'all do go till after Christmas. We go till the 27th, I mm -hmm. think, this mm -hmm. year, and we are open every night. There's no nights off, uh, we're rain or shine, uh, as long as we have power. Okay. Uh, we're on and we're open. Well, I can't wait to go see all the displays. Well, you need to, because it's really a wonderful thing, and, uh, and I still enjoy looking at them, too. Isn't that crazy? But I do. I like driving around at night and just, just uh, looking at them. Thanks so much for joining us on this road trip to Lights of the Delta. There are so many great displays to see, and I've heard the best way to see them is on one of their hay rides. Of course, we have to thank our sponsor, First Security Bank, for making these trips happen. And you can go to kit8.com slash road trip to see everywhere we've been and let us know where we should go next. See you there.